having a hard time deciding what to put in this video. First, I want to do a good job explaining the removal of these components, because it can be a little bit tricky, especially on older cars. I also want to show a good amount of detail on how I restored them. A previous attempt at this job ended with me using the wrong hardware in the steering wheel puller. Thankfully, I was able to re-tap the thread. Remove the main nut to get the lock tab out. Then, re-thread the nut so that it's in line with the steering column. Loosely assemble everything in line with the shaft, then tighten down the two bolts to the wheel. Over time, and especially if the wheel and the shaft are made of dissimilar metals, they can form a bond to each other, making it difficult to get off. Rocking them back and forth, and hitting the end of the steering wheel puller with a hammer can help to reduce the amount of force that this bond has. It won't pop the steering wheel off though. You have to use the ratchet to do that. I was friggin' wailing on that thing. I'm gonna leave that right where it is. That's called a woodruff key. Don't friggin' lose it. I'll post the full restoration of this beautiful mahogany wheel in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.